back to Mamba for Life. My name is Trina. I have had someone comment recently that they wanted me to do a breakdown on Instacart. So we about to do one right now, girl. If y'all ever have like a video idea, let me know. When it's stuff like this where I understand it could help you financially, I'm going to go ahead and do the video. Some of the other ones I'm going to put off a little bit because one, I might have to get a little comfortable, whatever. But anyways, um, our first order is $40. And I want to say this is the highest amount I've ever gotten for an order. Usually it's like 30, 30 some dollars. But let me see. I'm trying to I'm trying not to show any information. But these are our three customers. So I got like I want to say around 81 items all together to get. So we're about to go ahead, stop talking, let's go ahead and get it to it. Alright, so we just getting our carts real quick. I'm gonna grab two I mean yeah, two separate carts because the order is so big and it's kind of hard to separate the orders when you have so many items i know some of this has to be a uh, fresh fruit vegetable so i went on ahead and just came over here and like i said boom so i'm gonna show you real quick what you do so let me get the carrots right here uh, so you click on it all right and it says it's on the third shelf so one two three says carrot chips and I am not finding oh here goes some right here so this check the ounces is 16 so it's a pound and that is what I'm supposed to be getting so you all you have to do is then just turn around and you want to scan the barcode let me see I'm sorry I'm trying to do this with two hands boom so this tells me here this goes with a so I'm gonna put this with a, I think I'm gonna put a, all right, right y'all. So my next tip is definitely gonna be to store, like at the top where y'all seen, we had the veggies and stuff, but you also wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom because sometimes they put the veggies down here. See that? So if I would've went and did my shopping and went around, I would've ended up having to come all the way back over here because they put this at the bottom. I do not like that. I hate it, but let's go ahead and I'm about to go grab this real quick. So I came across another tip. So this right here, the minis, is what my customer ordered, but they are out of stock. So you can go and you can type, can't find item. Now this is the difference in a requested item replacement, meaning this is what the customer wants. So she wants this right here as a replacement if I can't find the original. The issue is, is I can't find that one either. They're out of stock for that one as well see completely out of stock for the planes so you then can type if you hit that now these right here are possible replacements which for me i just reach out to the customer to see if she's okay with these but um one is a requested one which means you don't have to reach out to the customer to verify and the other one is a possible replacement a possible <laughs> replacement we are done with shopping. Um, we've been shopping for an hour and 12 minutes. We got an hour and 36 to get all this. Um, but before I go to the checkout line, y'all, I always try to you know, pull to the side and go through what I've already got to make sure that all my order is in order. So as you can see here, I started on B. Got my water at the bottom. I got my country time lemonade right there. And then I got my popcorn. Now the issue is, is I know I got my popcorn. I remember picking it up specifically. I got two, but it's on the cart. So it's actually the A's. And this is why you got to go back over it before you get to the counter because that would have been a mistake on my part and you don't want to make mistakes. All right, y'all. So we are, we are completely done with shopping. Um, we've checked out. You do have to scan your receipts in. My uh, cashier, she was kind enough to write the numbers on each receipt as we completed them so that helped out a lot um i knew exactly which receipt to go to you know which order um but you do have to upload those receipts into this right here and it walks you through it you just take pictures and uh submit the picture and then it asks you if you want to add another photo or if you are done with that person so we are done we're about to start delivery but i do want to tell you that some people do make instacart hard some of your customers are going to be a bit ugh, okay um and i say that to say when we first went in um we got to the bread and um the customer did not reach back out I, I did message her and let her know like hey um the bread that you requested is out would you like this as a replacement now as i said before i prefer to 
hear from the customer one of them a very okay very a, a is what you want as an ideal customer every time i message her she got right back with me b is what you do not want okay if i message you in the beginning of my shopping trip about a replacement item and you do not get back with me to let me know if it's good or bad and then i'm going to go check out and when i went to check out today it said i needed to call b to verify so that was already ugh, because i'm trying to check out right now so you know so it's all right, i'm trying to hurry up as as is like to load my groceries and I called, didn't work out, complete my order, everything. Come out to the car and I have messages from B. All right. I messaged her at one. I messaged her at one. So 40 minutes has gone by and I'm checking out and she is finally now getting back to me to say she needs the bread i can't do nothing for you girl i can't do nothing for you i can't do nothing for you at this point in time unfortunately because i've already completed if you order instacart honey please re talk talk to you talk to your person if they message you but let me go ahead and do these orders um they're all super close it's just it was three and it was a lot of groceries but yeah we're about to go ahead and do this right now so when i do deliveries i leave my kids in the car um I don't bring my kids and yeah we're about to go ahead and start this delivery now with, a, with whenever someone buys liquor we have to do a verification with id and stuff i've completed all of my orders so my pay does show in my earnings so if you look right here when it offered me the order it said i would get forty dollars and 49 cents instacart paid me thirteen dollars and 42 cents which i think is very cheap seeing as they pay they're supposed to pay seven dollars for each order so i don't like that because they didn't even pay instacart didn't even pay me the bare minimum for doing two orders but uh, that's a discussion for another day i got 27 dollars and seven cents for tips and so what happens is the instacart pay i can cash out immediately and it does cost 50 cents to to cash out let me see i'm gonna try to do it without actually cashing out see so they take 50 cents if you want to cash out I don't want to cash out then the tips are available to me to cash out if i choose so after two hours so about 4 30 4 40 um i should be able uh it should be showing up in my cash out spot right here so yeah y'all this is it's super simple uh, all right yeah but it's super simple real easy like i said some of your customers are gonna make it a little complicated um I did message the second lady back and I was just like, you know, I explained to her like, hey, you know, I waited, um, but I do apologize. You know, it didn't show me that you wanted to break till after I was checking out, honey, and I wouldn't. What can I do then? You know, outside of pay for it out of my own pocket and that's just not an option. It's not an option, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other questions or if there was something that you had a question about that I didn't answer, send me a message or a comment and let me know and i'll try to answer it for you but y'all enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you guys later happy cash day <laughs> let me see